Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we have another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. And just like last week, uh, these are actually not necessarily my opinions, I will be sharing some of my own opinions here, but uh, these songs are actually all voted on on the Friday New Music stream that I did, which is sadly copyright striked, so you cannot go back and see it. Um, but yeah, so this is a collective opinion of a bunch of people who all voted for which category it should be in, and uh, did some math to figure out where it should actually land. And um, that's that, so uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. Uh, 19 songs this week. We are starting with the bad category. Nothing in trash, nothing really too bad. Um, but we are starting with Timmy Trumpet, Cashmere, and the Bass Jackers with Eternity. Um, this is just a huge commercial collaboration that resulted in an oddly like Eurocentric house track, like a bit of a nostalgia kick. Um, the tone from the off drop to the drops felt really like uh, there's just a, a dissonance that didn't quite land um they felt completely different and uh you know overall the the track is just there it's just truly one of the songs of all time up next we have leo trick the leo tricks the orphic egg uh the new retrograde ep is out now and um I've never been the hugest Leo Tricks fan, and so I personally didn't like it. It doesn't really resonate with me, uh, but it also didn't seem to resonate a ton with the people on the stream, the viewers, and so, uh, yeah, I just felt like it's kind of circus music mixed with just, like, the hardest rhythm, and i just personally not a fan of it. felt it was really goofy, and, yeah, I don't know, just a weird one, but if you like rhythm, uh, maybe you'll like that. Then we've got Panda Eyes with Asteroid. Um, this is very Space Laces inspired. This song sounds like it's a Space Laces ripoff of sorts. And um, yeah, just without all the mixing prowess that comes with a Space Laces track. So uh, in the end, this is pretty much just a Wish.com version of a Space Laces track. And um, I would just rather listen to Space Laces. So that's what I have to say. Uh, moving into the meh category, songs that I thought were uh, pretty meh, and the theme, the, the stream thought were meh. We've got uh, Avela with Scared to Love Again, the first solo single on Monster Cat here. And um, yeah, the, the song is just pretty simple. Uh, it feels like the drop is missing a bit of a, a synth melody or just another layer to it. And uh, overall, really the best way to describe it is just a very simple song that we thought was uh, meh. Then we've got Lewis Thompson with No Promises. This is just a generic summer house track here. Uh, it will do well as, uh, it will do well streaming as the kind of background music for uh, your mall, uh, the mall scene. So that's pretty much that. Then we've got Armin Van Buren with Space Case. Uh, a kind of relenting beat that doesn't really go anywhere. It's got a bit of a dull kick um, and the song's pretty much just one long movement, which is fine, but it doesn't really allow for much uh, room to grow or even shrink. It just kind of just dun dun, like pretty much like not in a happy hardcore way though. Um, it just, yeah, it's, it's kind of happy hardcore without the happy hardcore is kind of the best way to put it. And then we've got Bowers, uh, Heart, 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 um, a kind of minimalistic track here with a playful vocal chop. Um, not a ton going on, but has some great mixing, I would say. Uh, I really like the style of the track. A lot of people kind of echo the sentiment that they like the style and what it was going for in the beat, um, but just felt like it didn't really do much more with it. It was kind of just like, it was a cool idea and then it wasn't really expanded upon. Um, it's also a lot more upbeat than normal Bower is. So uh, that's Bower. Uh, then we've got Stonebank with Onyx. Uh, this is Future Rave on Nerd Nation uh, with a lot less movement in it than, is, than he has had on his Monster Cat tracks um, of the same genre, I should say. Uh, lots of empty space with stuff that like could have had action, uh, but didn't quite, similar to the Armin Van Buren track. So uh, just, a, just a mess on. Maybe you enjoyed it more than we would. They've got Starseed featuring Nina Sung, I'll Be There VIP. Uh, this is kind of a heavy halftime dubstep beat with a crash and just like go boom, 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 boom. Like just a one, two kind of hang, headbang beat. Um, for a VIP, I thought it was a bit underwhelming, I would say. Then we've got Kumerian's Killa. Uh, this is your kind of bread and butter classic drum step Kumerian here. Uh, the drops are sort of kind of just one dull synth beat and uh, didn't really have a ton of variation to it. Uh, the off drops were the kind of classic uh, drum and bass from Camarion, but uh, yeah, just thought there was another echo, the same sentiment, same sentiment here where I feel like there could have been more that was happening, but there wasn't really in execution. But uh, we will new now move on to the good category songs that we thought were uh, pretty good. Uh, we've got Arcando and Mazel featuring Salvo with To Be Loved. Um, some funky synth licks here with this track. Uh, clean production. It's kind of a, that kind of classic future-based sound from Mazel. Specifically, I haven't heard a ton from Arcando. But uh, yeah, new NCS track. A uh, bit of a basic structure, but a pretty fun song, I would say. 
Then we've got Dion Timmer's uh, Kaibo, which is the kind of second version or part two of uh, Shiawasa or Shiawasi. But uh, yeah, it didn't quite have the same impact that Shiawasi originally had. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong, but um, I felt, and I think a lot of the uh, stream did, felt it was fairly a linear track, which doesn't quite um, have the catchiness factor that uh, Shiawasi originally had that made that song so iconic in Dion Timmer's discography, but uh, still a good song nonetheless. Then we got Ford Every Day uh, Far From, and this is from the new Guiding Hand LP that just came out from Ford. Uh, this is just kind of pure trip-hop bliss, I would say very reminiscent of a Mr. Fichuigi. Uh, brilliant vocal chops, got a snappy kit beat to it all throughout, uh, and even got kind of wall of sound that bookends both uh, parts of the track. They don't hear a ton from uh, trip-hop, so I enjoyed it. And we've got Slippy's Tell Me Why. Uh, Slippy always finds new and creative flows, and this is just really no exception to that sentiment. Um, super punchy melodic bass with a lot of energy and just drive to the track. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. Then we've got Effin's Black Magic. Uh, another just absolute vibe of a track with super crunchy drops here um, with a sprinkle of that kind of vintage vocals that is very uh, classic for Effin style tracks and kind of goes along with the album art as well, which is a kind of through that, that I've loved through Effin's discography. But uh, yeah, I would say this is one of his uh, best of the year. One of the best songs of the year. Sound design was uh, impeccable on this. Uh, really liked that one. Then we got Mazer and Skybreak's Icarus from the uh, Mazer's Ophelia DNB collection compilation. But um, yeah, uh, I think Skybreak and Mazer worked really well together. It was a duo that I, I didn't think worked as well on paper, but in execution was absolutely fabulous. Um, Skybreak kind of filled any empty gaps that would be on a kind of standard drum and bass Mazer track. And the two of them just work really well in tandem. Uh, it's a very fun drum and bass single. And um, yeah, just feel good, high energy, um, track has got a lot going for it, and I thought it was uh, pretty solid. Then we've got Fred again and Obanjara. I don't know, I butchered that hard, but uh, I Adore You, uh, which is personally one of my favorite Fred again songs of this past year. Uh, it's got a simple house beat with the kind of, I will say, random like drill rap backing vocals that's quite random from uh, Obanjar. Jayar? I'm not sure how to say that exactly, but yeah, it's a bit of a neat kind of carefree track that uh, I actually think worked well, despite it being a little odd. And then we've got Grabbit's Surrender Peace uh, from the Let Them Only See Butterflies EP, or LP that just came out, Grabbit's fourth project for studio album. Uh, this one is uh, kind of a bit of an old school drum and bass uh, style from Grabbit's, although he hadn't really done drum and bass, he did a lot of drum step in the past, but uh, a good melding of his kind of newer uh, alternative alternative dance style with this kind of old school classic Grabbit sound that you'd hear from early like 2014 Monster Cat days. Um, album as a whole, I personally, I would say I didn't, I didn't love, I wasn't on board with a ton, uh, but this track uh, wasn't too bad, but uh, pretty solid drum and bass. So that's Grabbit's. As we move into our standouts, we've got two standouts this week. Uh, number one is Drulu and Transviolet with Downside Up. The uh, fourth upcoming, or the fourth single from an upcoming album from Drulu to drop this year that I cannot remember the name of at this moment. But um, this is personally my favorite of the four tracks without a doubt. Um, someone said in chat that this song goes mildly bonkers. And I absolutely love that. I thought that was the perfect way to describe this track in particular. Uh, it's got raw vocals from Transviolet here that work really well in tandem with the light synths and instrumentation that comes with Drulu with their kind of chimes and bells and whistles, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, best single from upcoming album for sure. And our number one song of the week is uh, AU5, Kaizen, and Tyler Graves with Before You Leave, or Saison, I think it's supposed to be how it's pronounced. But uh, yes, this is uh, this is single number two from an upcoming record from uh, AU5 on Ophelia, Bridges Between, it's called. But uh, yeah, this track, Before You Leave, is a great mix of AU5's kind of iconic melodic dubstep sound with the more kind of commercialized Elenium melodic sound that we're hearing from this new project from AU5. It's a good blending of the commercialized style and the actual like good sound <laughs> I want to say niche kind of melodic dubstep and uh yeah it's just a, a perfect melding of the two um yeah it's got elements of kind of weird synth wave and destructive dubstep interspliced that I mainly come from size on here but uh yeah absolutely baller track that I loved and I'm excited for the album but uh yeah that's been this week in EDM if you want to hear any of the songs really easily on Spotify if that's where you listen you can find the link to this whole playlist the whole year uh in this in the uh, description below that like button but uh, other than that I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these songs and and uh, my name is Dakota, and this has been Bowtie Media. And I'll see you guys in another video.